All right, G chord. Usually played one, two, three. Now, some people will play this chord two, three, four. If you learned it that way, good on you. I never learned it this way, and I find the pinky placement to be quite awkward, even though it allows me to go to G, I mean C, the C chord, faster and easier. I still play G with a one, two, three. Strum all six strings on this chord. All right, now let's look at C. Remember, if the three finger C is too difficult for you, too much of a stretch or awkward to get this third finger up here, you can use a two finger C instead. The three finger C should look like this and we strum five strings. Should sound like that. All right, excellent. Next chord, E minor. Two fingers. Fingers one and two will work great. Sometimes people use fingers two and three and that's okay, but I'm going to recommend fingers one and two for today just because I think you might find it easier and it's all about easy guitar today. It's going to sound good too. All right, here's the review, just all of our chords here. Now I will have chord grids in my song, so you won't have to memorize these necessarily, but of course, memorizing them will make your chord changes faster. If you can't play a full G chord, it's totally okay to just use finger three and play this one note right here. You can put your finger on fret three string one, and you have an easy G, it's kind of like half of a G chord, and then you can only strum four strings. You still have a nice G chord, much easier than the three finger version. So that's your one finger G chord option. Then next is A minor, one of those sad minor chords. Notice how similar the A minor is to the C shape. In fact, to go back and forth between A minor and C, all you have to do is lift the third finger or move it here. A minor and C very closely related. They share a couple of notes in common. There's your A minor and here's your C. Notice how similar they sound? Basically just the bass note changes, the lowest note. This is just handy info. I give this to you for free. Hey, the lowest note of any chord is the name of the chord. A minor chord is called A minor because the A is the lowest note, so our open A string is the bass note or the lowest note. All right, so if you're good with a C and maybe a little bit of a D7 and also an E minor, 